Hi all nerds, today we will create a gRPC server using Go. In this, we will create gRPC server from scratch. We will create a folder, I will create a gRPC server, we will install the dependencies, uh, we will do it from scratch. So let's start. So for creating a gRPC server, you will need a Go uh, which needs to be installed in your system and you need a Visual Studio. Uh, I am using currently Visual Studio for now. So let's use it. Uh, I'll create a folder um, inside my Golan path. So uh, <clears throat> create a folder here. Uh, this will be simple go grpc server. I'll open it uh, in this Visual Studio. Now we have to initialize this uh, with a go mod init command. So we initialize this using terminal command here so this is go hyphen grpc hyphen server so this command will initialize our uh, go project <coughs> so it has initialized and it added the go mod so now we need to create uh, one cmd folder we'll place our main file main.go to run the server package will be main now create function main that's it now uh, if let me switch off Okay, let's create uh, one folder for the app. Where we will generate our proto files. So now uh, we we'll need to create, we'll use a user entity to create a proto. So user we create user dot info user info dot proto now we need to add some syntax here for uh, proto3 add it syntax to 3 okay so now uh, to add um, to add go package uh, we need to do, first define we need uh, so first we need to define the package that is proto now option go option go underscore package that is the github and my id that is the project 17 july now next is your PC go our project name is go hyphen grpc hyphen server and then proto so this is how it looks you need to add app slash proto now i add a message that is a user info which will hold information like name string equals to one will have email city phone number that's it 
now uh, we need to create a service which will hold information for which will provide the information for user so let's uh, call this as user service now uh, we have created a user product uh, the extensions which i have used for uh, the extensions which i've used uh, to indent or identify the proto you can install this one <clears throat> uh, i will install the proto buff protocol buffers you can install this one and others as well whatever suits you now to again to uh, install the proto or generate the proto uh, inside app slash proto uh, like in to generate the go files you need to install two things uh, one is the proto buff uh, on your system uh, like you can use uh, this one this is not the url i'll paste the url from here So from this URL, you can download the release and install it on your system. Uh, for Windows people, you can install the Windows 64 and then you can in use environment variable to set the part like I have done that. env. Now if I go to the environment variables, you can see in the path I have already uh, given the proto file, the proto installation. Now, before that, uh, before starting it, uh, you need to install two things. Uh, one is the Proto. You've already installed uh, the Proto buffers on your system. After um, saving the environment variables, you need to install uh, the Proto buff on your project as well. Proto Gen GC, which will generate the uh, proto files the uh, it will generate the go files using the proto now uh, for generating the go files using the proto uh, you need to use this command uh, i have used slash proto uh, where the user uh, where the user proto is given so i'll put that proto inside it that is proto I'll move this to proto. Now I have given the path where the proto information is present. Uh, this will generate the go um, structs inside it, and this will generate the server of the uh, gRPC, and it will uh, use the package uh, which is given like this. So uh, it says. The error is something else. Uh, so I try to generate the output. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have uh, given the wrong info here. The string is, should be on the left side. Now, uh, after placing this, it should work. And the name which we have given as a part is, I think, wrong. It. Okay, I think uh, the user GRPC and then for the GRPC server in the structs that are generated, uh, we we'll use that inside the main package to uh, run the server. <clears throat> so for that, we need to define type that is server and embed. the proto dot unimplemented user server which is generated let's import this as well next we need to again uh, after implementing the server we need to implement the get user and that is there so now we copy this and implement this method 
has to be a server type we have embedded it has to be context this has to be proto dot user so that it imports the correct struct let's import this now we need to return a user let's create a user proto dot user which will have name as sick pj or let's say nerd hurt now next is the email nerd hurt threat example dot com cities new york let's save it comma so that is what we need to return So, comma nil because it is returning two arguments. So we need to see this. Okay, so uh, what we need to do next is to have a server. We need to create a server for the same, uh, or I can say I need to pass this into a gRPC server. Let's call it a listen error. Which will listen on net. Import this. It will run on eighty eighty. <clears throat> Let's import net. There is nil. Net. There is nil log. Dot fatal error. Closes. Now we need to define a gRPC server. We need to import this. import and we need to register this to proto dot register service server comma this if there is nil we need to find error fatal again uh, now we need to uh, start or let's print the log for the server port so if uh, started server started on 80 colon let's print the dynamic one we get it from the list listen dot address string now we'll start the server is start serve listen log petal you can see it's implemented let's save it let's try to run it running successfully let's try to import <coughs> or run it on postman you can see this already imported one let's try to improve call it you can see the output so yeah that's it for today and keep working